Hey guys, so we're going to jump right in. I've already applied tape to the sides of my eye just to block off any fallout that may fall down onto my face. Then I'm going to apply my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC with a brush and just pat that in just to set a base for my eyeshadow. Then I use some of my setting powder to go on top of that so that our eyeshadows blend nice and smooth. I'm going to apply this fawn color by Anastasia with this M513 uh, brush by Morphe. It's a large fluffy brush and this is going to be our transition color today. I'm just going to apply that right above the crease and blending it out. Now I'm going in with Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek and I'm applying that right underneath that color we just put down. This is just going to make it look like the eyeshadow look a little bit more warm. And I'm just going back and forth with that. Now I'm going in with this color Fudge by Anastasia and I'm going to use a smaller blending brush to put that in the outer V of the eye using circular motions to blend it out making it look very dispersed. And then I'm bringing some more of the color into the inner portion of our eye and just blending that out using circular motions as well. And at the end using the rest of the product I'm going to blend kind of both of those colors together. Now I'm using this Morphe pencil brush and this black color by Anastasia and I'm going to apply that on top of the brown color. Um, I'm not going to totally cover the brown color but I'm just going to go on top of it with a smaller brush and disperse it out a little bit more. Layering colors helps your eyeshadow look more blended. I don't know if that makes sense but it does. <laughs> And I am just putting a little bit of the black in the inner corner as well just so that we get that nice halo effect and I'm just blending that out using that pencil brush. Now I'm going in with this color Intermission. This is a Makeup Geek pigment in this Ruby Kisses flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to place that color right in the center of those two black colors or the yeah the black color that I put down and this color is beautiful it's gorgeous I'm just going to bring that color up kind of in a triangular motion I tried something new today and I really like it now I'm going in with this NYX glitter in the NYX glitter glue it's actually NYX I know it's NYX people everyone corrects me but I kind of just say it NYX but <laughs> I'm just placing the glitter right on top of that intermission color just to give it more definition and I love glitter so I wanted to apply glitter today and I'm putting that in a triangular motion as well and just bringing it up towards my eyebrow now I'm applying some uh, mascara <laughs> just so that my falsies look nice then I'm applying my salon perfect 614 lashes and applying that with tweezers per usual now I'm gonna use this NYX concealer. This is my favorite for hydrating underneath the eye. I'm gonna use two colors today and I'm gonna place the darker color underneath there first. And then I'm gonna use this MAC 212 brush to carve out the outer part of my eye so that it looks more sharp and I won't mess it up by blending it out with the Beauty Blender because I do that a lot. So now I'm gonna take the lighter color, put it on top and then blend it out with the Beauty Blender. I love the Beauty Blender for blending out my concealer underneath my eyes. It comes out flawless. I absolutely love it and my Beauty Blender is semi-damp. Now I'm using my Banana Cream Powder in this Real Techniques brush and I'm just setting my concealer and I do this to both eyes. You guys know the deal. You already know. <laughs> I did fill in my waterline with this Rimmel eyeliner and I just couldn't get all of it on camera. I'm sorry guys. I am taking this MAC MSF in the color dark and I'm blending away that banana cream pie powder. This helps me look more photoshopped and awake and more blended. Now I'm taking my NYX Nutmeg Concealer, the same concealer I used earlier and blending that out with a damp beauty blender. I have a full highlighting and contouring video if you guys want to check it out. Now I'm just setting the center of my face with my banana cream pie powder using one of those triangular sponges and I'm just patting that in. This just helps everything set in place and then I'm going to go back on top of that with my MSF and blend away that banana cream pie powder. This just makes everything look so flawless. Then I'm taking this Real Techniques brush, which I love by the way, in this Bobbi Brown bronzer and I'm going to chisel my cheeks. This is just gonna warm up our face a lot more and help define our face without, I don't know, I just don't like my face to look flat so I always have to do this step. 
and I'm just blending that out. Make sure you blend out your temp temples like right here and blend out that concealer if you brought it too far up like I did. And just get your forehead and your jawline and all that good stuff. <laughs> now I'm gonna define my nose a little bit more. I'm taking the rest of that product that was left on the brush and I'm using the end of that brush and just putting it right on the sides of my nose. This brush is very versatile, I love it. I will leave it in the description box for you guys because <laughs> I really like it. Now I'm taking this Makeup Geek Contour Shade and I'm just chiseling my cheeks a little bit more just to define them a little bit more to darken them up a little bit and I'm just blending that out. That's really it. Now I'm gonna take my Banana Cream Pie Powder and just chisel my cheeks. We're gonna snatch those cheeks just a little bit more. Just putting that powder underneath the contour just to sharpen it a little bit, you know? <laughs> Then I'm going to blend it out. I'm using my MSF as well in this step and just blending off that powder or taking that powder away and voila, your contour is snatched. Now I'm taking this Shivery Blush by Makeup Geek and putting that on top of my contour to give me a little bit more color. Now we're going back to the eyes. I'm using Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek in my MAC 212 Pinched Brush and I'm going to do the same thing that I did to the top on the bottom of my eyes. So now this is fudge and I'm putting that in the outer portions of the eye we're replicating the same thing we did on the top now I'm taking the black color with a pencil brush and putting that on the outer parts of the lower lash line and now I'm taking my glitter and putting it in the center it's honestly very simple we're just doing the same thing we did to the top now it's time to highlight my favorite part. I'm taking Riviera by Anastasia in this fan brush and putting that on the highest points of my face. I am going extra hard today with highlighter and I don't even care because I love highlighter because you know if the lights go out you need to see me. <laughs> I sound so crazy but I love highlighting. So I'm just going to put that on the highest points of my face and blend it out. I'm going to layer highlighters today. I'm using the Glow Kit by Anastasia, my favorite, and putting that on top. I find that if I use like a pinky highlighter first and then I use a gold, it looks best on me and it makes my highlight stand out a lot more, which I love. So yeah. And I also put highlighter on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow and on my chin as well, just to know you know make me glow <laughs> now I'm taking my favorite lipstick of all time conspiracy by urban decay I wear this lipstick the most out of any lipstick that I own and I'm layering it or putting a little bit of gold lip gloss in the center and you have to spray your face I'm spraying my face with Mac fix plus today and this is just gonna set everything in place and make you look more dewy and you know nice and then you just want to fan it and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial do not forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video i will see you guys in the next one